Hey guys, what's going on? We are out for another ride. Quick ride. These apple trees. A lot of them are falling off. Look at that. That's actually what I've been uh, switching to eating in the morning. I've had about half an apple or two and a banana, maybe some grapes. And uh, sometimes I might still, I'll still have some Cheerios. Not the honey, honey Cheerios, you know, I like those, but regulars. Not those are so nice. Yeah, so we're going to take a quick ride down this road. I don't remember the name of this road, but we'll take a ride down the Shawangunk, Shawangunk Mountains over there. And we're going to remount further down there. I got my, uh, I got this new windshield cleaner. Let me show it to you. So I just got this in the mail. Called Slipstream Plastic Restorer. Anti-fog, anti-static. And uh, I've been, I bought this off of Amazon. Because I was using Plexus, but Plexus, jeez, Lord. It's like 21 bucks. This stuff is like 12 bucks. But you know what? It wasn't. It was the reviews that really made me say, you know what? Let me try it. And I tried. I bought two cans. You know, just it ma ma kind of maximizes shipping. Just buy two, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I would say it's done a pretty good job. I just did a quick, quick clean. Anyway, we're gonna head down here. My last vlog, unfortunately, was a was a wash, but I figured I would do a, a voiceover to try and save that, to save that video. Nice. And so here we are over here. Wife and I went for a nice lunch in New Paltz and I came back and mounted a tire on a on a free uh, a free wheelbarrow that I had found. Someone put it out on the front lawn. They didn't want it, so I took it, and my neighbor helped me put a put a tire on it. <laughs> Not a tire, oh, a few bolts. And then I went to uh, I went to Home Depot, got a tube, and put the tube on there. So you know what I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. One thing was, uh, if you ever looked in your owner's manual, there's like a manufacturer's shift recommendation. Or, uh, uh, it's like certain speeds that they recommend that you shift at. And looking in mine, I was like, where did they come up with this? You know, these numbers. And I actually tried it. But there's just, there's just no way. I don't know. I, I, I just like, you know what? They must have made these shift recommendations at some place that doesn't have hills. I mean, that's the only thing that I could really, that really that I could think of. It must have been some place that doesn't have hills. It must be flat. Oh, you know, my bike is Japanese. So I don't know. Did they think of that there? Maybe? I, I have no idea. I don't know. But, um, well, yeah. You know, <laughs> It doesn't work for here, you know. They they have you getting in the fifth. I think it, it was like at like uh like 30 or something, 35. I'm like, yeah, no, that's not that's not working. Uh, we'll try going down this road for a bit and see how far we can let's see what we can how far we can go and stay on road. I'm not getting on any gravel because. I just uh, took my whole rear end apart. I cleaned the belt, soap, soap and water, and put it all back together. I'm not. So for right now, we're staying off of gravel and dust and dirt. Yeah, so, you know, that was something that I kind of wondered. I, like, I even looked up the Harley shift recommendations for, say, like a street glide. And I think most of their bikes, you're not going to really find much variation or very much difference and theirs was a bit more reasonable which has you going in the fifth gear at approximately 
approximately 50 miles an hour or so. And I guess if for some reason you're going into six, I guess that's, you know, that's at a, just a, a much higher speed. But um, anyhow, you know, it was just something I figured I'd talk to you guys about. I can roll through the gears and jump into, I could jump into fifth minimum, minimum now, minimum 50 miles an hour on my bike. And that's, and that's 50 miles per hour speedo, which is... 40, actually 45 GPS because my speedo my speedo is a little off so we'll go back up here and we'll make a left yeah my speedo is a little off so but anyway I just think I guess oftentimes I know on the V-Star forum a lot of guys say yeah well you know I don't get in a fifth until 65 miles per hour um, not sure if they, I'll, I'll figure they're talking about speedo 65 because that's about 60 miles an hour which you know you could actually get in which I've learned that you can get into you could get into fifth even sooner than that so I don't know it depends on how you like to ride I mean if you like to I'll turn off the heated grips for a bit if you like to rev the gears out then you know I guess that's a little bit different I was watching uh, Bodine 52's video last night where he was talking about how long we would ride or when do we say okay that's it for riding due to season reasons and he was also talking about hunting which is cool I'm, I, I don't know much about hunting but it was always cool to hear him talk about it and uh, you know I figured I was like man you know I looked at how much miles I put on and I really didn't put on much this year you know I'm just touching what was it 40 42 this is 12 9. yeah 42 I'm just touching 4200 and our oil changes our oil change spreads are what 4,000 to 4,000 to 5,000 4,000 to 4,500 actually and I'm just touching just touching just now getting to 4200 so probably probably almost about ready to almost about ready to do an oil change not really there yet but I might wait a little bit yeah, so I think I'm probably going to end up stretching my riding season until they salt. You know, my wife got me those new Alpine Star winter gloves. I got my chaps, which are on now, as you can see. They're doing a good job. Can't complain about that. And uh, I think I think we could we could stretch it a little bit. Okay, so we are on Old Ford Road. So we're running parallel to 208 right now. And that is the Shawangunk Mountains out that way. Yeah, so just out for a nice ride. I figure, you know, you know, I wanted to continue to commute, but man, our nights are just brutal. You know, you're talking about now getting down into the 40s at night. Uh, I don't know about that. You know, so I think for now I'm just going to be sticking to day rides. We'll be doing day rides, journeying around as we can. And you know, when I get off of work, it's about midnight. So usually by the time I'm pulling in it's about 1 15 so you know an hour and a half at 40 to 43 degrees uh, I don't know about that I don't think I have I don't know if I have much interest in that uh, nice wood pile yeah I don't know if I have much interest in that 